Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Blue Raspberry. Now, this is an upgrade from uh, the Yeti that I was using, which was destroyed by Hurricane Matthew back in October. And as you can see right here, it's targeted as being a premium mobile USB microphone, unlike the Yeti that I'm holding in my right hand, which is a much larger device, clearly not meant to go mobile, and has a mini USB port. Uh, as you can see on the diagram right here on the side of the box, we've got the, uh, the mini uh, USB port. Uh, yet, uh, Blue likes to point out that uh, it's got its premium capsule circuitry, uh, internal acoustic diffuser, uh, of course, headphone volume control for monitoring, a headphone jack, and mic level and mute control. Uh, you can also use this not only with micro USB devices with its form factor because it's something that could travel, uh, but also with Apple products because it does have a, a lightning uh, adapter that comes with it in box. And that's why they show it right there with an iPhone uh, because they are calling it the ultimate mobile USB uh, microphone. And again, when you compare it to the Yeti, you can see why. Now, you know, continuing to focus on the mobile element. Clearly, it's called the Raspberry because it's red. Uh, nothing really more to be said about that. This does not come in any other colors. And at a 200 uh, US dollar retail, it better be the ultimate mobile USB device uh, because, or microphone, because it is uh, nearly $100 more than the Blue Yeti, which uh, in many instances may sound better than the Raspberry. Uh, but to my ears, it was pretty much a wash, and that's why I thought this was a very good compromise to make. Uh, now, uh, anything else to note? I'm thinking off the top of my head, not much. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. As many of you know, I love to do unboxings, especially when there are multiple tabs. And here we go, a total of three. My Japanese scissor did survive the hurricane, and it's still doing its job just like it did before. Now, whether or not I can get this out of the box, as usual, is another story altogether. Anyone that continues to watch my channel has in the past knows that I love doing unboxings, um, or loathe, uh, love, excuse me, and uh, this one is no exception. But uh, blue doesn't make it too difficult, and here we have it, finally, the Raspberry. And as you can see, this thing is tiny. I mean, I can palm this sucker and then compare that to what I was working with in the past with the Yeti, and it's just absurd. Now, that stand is articulating. You can twist it around, move it into different directions. I mean, ultimately, not all of them are going to be usable, as you can see right there. That's one mode. You can flip it over and use it the other way and, you know, wire the cable through it. It's really the most stable. There you've got your headphone uh, control for your levels. At the back, we have our micro USB port which again comes with a lightning adapter as well, so you can use that with Android or iOS devices. No uh, USB Type-C, unfortunately. Um, and that is one thing I would have liked to have seen here, but of course you can just get a micro to USB Type-C. And then we have the actual microphone level control. That LED right there will let you know whether or not you're recording. Green, of course, will indicate that it is. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it looks like an old-timey mic, just like all of, uh, well not all of, but many of Blue's microphones, but what is more important is the quality. Other than that, all we have left in the box is some paperwork. Look at that accordion come out. And there's really not a whole lot to read when it comes to that because this is all about the mic's performance and that's really what you're gonna be focused on. Uh, it does come with a carry ca uh, pouch, excuse me, which is nice, and there is uh, the micro USB cable that is included. Um, as I mentioned, you also do get a lightning cable, which is the, the next one you can see there in the bottom of the box. And this way, Blue has prepared you um, to, uh, essentially, there's another uh, mounting device, has allowed you uh, to easy, easily connect to your mobile device of choice, whether that is iOS or Android driven. Because even if your phone, again, is a Type-C, uh, here, of course, we, we're working with the Lightning for Apple, but with the micro USB, most new Android phones, most phones in general, are Type C, and that's where you're going to just get an adapter. Those could be found very inexpensively. But again, just take a look at that size difference. I mean, it is really massive. So uh, when it comes to quality, as I try to balance out the Yeti, which is just 
says a lot about the, the enormity of that microphone uh, and the fact that the Raspberry could or does provide the same quality at a fraction of the size, granted, at a higher cost to your pocket, uh, your wallet, pocketbook. Um, it's really a matter of what you need. You know, if you need something mobile, there's no question that the Raspberry is the way to go. If you do not, then the Yeti is still the king of the hill uh, because it's usually on sale around Black Friday for under $100, $75, bucks. Um, the Raspberry, on the other hand, it's always going to be 200 But both are great products, and um, I don't think you can go wrong with either one. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.